Hello everyone and welcome back to another quick tech video. We'll be learning everything about comparators and what they can do, including comparison, subtraction, and maintaining a signal. But first, let's get started with the basics and look at the inputs and outputs. The redstone comparator has four faces, the rear, the two sides, and the front. The rear face detects block state or redstone power level. The two side faces take an input for comparison or subtraction and the front face is the output. A comparator's primary function is its ability to measure block state. Block state is information or value stored in a block that further defines it. An example of this is the number of items stored in it or its redstone power. A chest is a simple example of block state. When you add an item to the chest, the comparator updates measuring its block state and gives an output. With one item in the chest, it gives an output at a power level of 1, as you can see on the right side of the screen. You'll also note that the comparator can measure through a solid block as long as it's facing into the block that you want to measure. When we increase the number of items in this chest and update its block state, you'll note that the comparator increases in power. With one third of the items in the chest, you get one third of the comparator's total power output, 5 of 15. When you increase the chest capacity to full, like this, you get an output of 15, meaning that the comparator is detecting a full block state. Comparators can measure the block state of a bunch of different blocks in Minecraft. Most of them end up quite similar to chests as we've already seen, like trap chests, barrels, shulker boxes, and pretty much anything that has input slots like these. Although it's important to remember that if it has less than 27 input slots, like the furnace, it will give a fraction of how many slots are filled compared to how many slots it actually has. So if these two slots are filled, it will give a fraction two-thirds of the full output power. Minecart with chest and minecart with hopper will give an output when the comparator is put next to a detector rail that they're on. Jukeboxes will give an output when they've got a music disc in them and a different output for each disc. Bee nests will give an output based on how much honey they have. Command blocks have an output based on how many successful executions. Cake on how much is eaten. Ender portal frames on how many ender eyes in, in them. Respawn anchors based on how many charges they have. Item frames based on the rotation of the item. Composter and cauldrons based on how full they are. And lecterns based on what page of the book you're on. The massive number of outputs you can get from different inputs in all these blocks means it's much easier to read this data than for me to talk about it here. I'll put a photo on screen that gives you a good idea and also a link to the Wikipedia which will give you much more detail. Another function of comparators is their ability to maintain redstone power. When you take an input in the front side of a comparator at any level, it will maintain that level at the back side, out here. So we take an input at power 14, it comes out at 14, and reaches the end of the chain, still at level 14. While travelling normally, it would be power level 8. You note that it can also travel through blocks and maintain its power level. Comparators in Minecraft have another two really useful uses, compare and subtract mode. If you remember from the diagram at the start, when we take an input from either side, it goes into compare or subtract. When the comparator is placed like this, as you normally place it down, it's in compare mode. If you right click it, this light comes on, and that means it's in subtract mode. Let's have a look at what these actually mean. When a comparator is in compare mode, it is comparing the side inputs to the rear input. If either of the side inputs are greater than the rear input in signal strength, then it will not give an output. If the rear input is greater than both the side inputs, then it will give an output at the power level of the rear input. When a comparator is in subtract mode, it is subtracting the side inputs from the rear input. It will take the power level of the rear input and subtract the highest power level of either of the side inputs from it and output that on the front output. If the side input is stronger than the rear input, then it will never give an output. That's pretty much everything you could ever need to know for redstone comparators. If you need some more specific information, check out the Wikipedia. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.